sketch the graph of y is equal to log base 10 of x minus 2 plus 1. Now this is a log graph or transformation of this basic log graph of y is equal to log base 10 of x. So you should know this, the sketch of this graph and if you know the sketch of this graph you can easily draw the transform or this graph which is a transformation of this graph. The sketch of it would look like this. Your asymptote is log is not defined for any negative values. Okay, so your y-axis is your asymptote. So this is this line. Your y-axis can be called x is equal to 0. So this is an asymptote and the sketch of the log graph base 10 would look like this. This is only a sketch. Let me draw this better. This will go somewhat like this. Okay, I'll plot some points here. So when when x is 1, log, uh, log base 10 of 1 is 0. Okay, so if you take 10, say this is 1, and say this is 10, this is not drawn to scale. So when log base 10 of 10 is 1, so this is this is 10 comma, so this is say 1, so this is 10 comma 1, and then say the next point would be say this is 100, when it is 100, this will be 2, okay, so this is 100 comma 2, 100 comma 2. So what I'm saying is, if you plot these values, so x and y, when x is 1, your y is going to be 0. When x is, say, 10, it's going to be 1, and when it is 100, it's going to be 2. So let me show this on the calculator. If you press <clears throat> on your run menu, if you go log of 1, that is 0. Okay, here the base by default is 10. When you say log, the base is 10. Log of 10 is 1 and then log of 100 is 2. So obviously now you can understand log of 1000 would be 3. So the next neat point is log of 1000 which is 3. So the log graph is a, tie, a sort of exponential graph but the growth becomes very slow. Okay, the rate of change of y is almost constant. Okay, so this grows but the rate of growth is very very slow. Now this means, now if you want to sketch the graph of this, the given equation, this means this graph has gone 2 to the right. This minus means this has gone 2 to the right and has gone 1 up. Okay, so the whole graph, all these points will be translated 2 to the right and 1 up. So this 1, 0, so this point you can call is 1, 0. This is 1, comma 0. So if you translate this 2 to the right and 1 up, the point will be, if you translate 1, 2 to the right, that will become 3, isn't it? And 0 will become 1. So the next, the point that you will have will be 3 comma 1. I'll explain that. So let's talk about the the asymptote. The asymptote will has to move 2 to the right. So asymptote now becomes x is equal to, so this is 2, your asymptote becomes, this is x is equal to 2. So you are this, this graph, whole graph has moved 2 to the right and one up. So the graph, the shape of the graph remains the same. So let me go like this. Oops. So this will be, the, sh the shape will be the same. Okay. So this one, this one zero, so let me show this. One zero, one comma zero is translated by a vector two comma one. This 2 means you're going 2 to the 2 across, 
your x coordinate will go 2 across and your y coordinate will go 1 up. So 1, 0 will be translated. Your x coordinate will be moved 2 to the right. So that will become 3, 1. Okay, so this, uh, this point is say 3, comma. this is 3, comma 1. Okay, so what will happen to this 10, comma 1? 10, comma 1, your x coordinate has to move. 10, comma 1 has again to be moved by a vector of 2, comma 1. So the coordinate will be, x coordinate has to move 2 to the right, so that is 12 and 12, comma 2. So this will be 12, comma 2. This is only a sketch. I'll show this on the calculator. 12, comma 2. And the next point is 100, comma 2. 100, comma 2 has also to move by the same vector of 2, comma 1, 2, 1. So this point, 100, comma 2 will become 102, comma 3. So this is not drawn to scale. This point is 102, comma 3. And your asymptote is this line. So let me show this on the calculator. So how will you graph this? Okay, now if you want to do this on a... Okay, so let's graph this. So you can type in log of bracket x minus 2 plus 1. So we need to change the scale. Shift F3, I'll go from 0 to, say, 110 at a scale of 10, okay? And on y, I don't need a big scale. I need for, I need to go from 0 to 5. Would do. Scale of 1 would do. So this is your graph. So we want to confirm 3, 1. So G sol F6, Y calc. When X is 3, Y is 1. Okay. The next point is G sol Y calc. When X is 12, Y should be 2. And then G sol the same thing, Y calc when X is 102. Now to just show you the asymptote, so if you type in, if you go to type F3 and go to F4, type in X is equal to 2 to show you the asymptote. So this is the asymptote, just to show you. So this is the asymptote. This line, your graph is approaching X is equal to 2. Okay, so this is how you can draw the translation of this log graph.